We're live, we're live, we're rolling, we're rolling. Hey guys, Simeon Panda here and uh, bringing you another chest session. A little bit different today though. We're not gonna do your standard bench press and the incline, etc. I'm gonna show you some exercises that I use and have used over the years that are like secondary exercises that I don't do all the time, but I do incorporate them for the benefits that they have. The first exercise we're gonna do is a floor press. Fantastic exercise for really testing your strength and improving your strength on bench press. Now, the floor press, eliminates leg drive. So your legs aren't involved in this press. Um, you're just, your back's flat and uh, it's a controlled movement, controlled movement throughout. So you're gonna see the tempo is a lot different to regular bench press when I do it. Um, one thing you need to remember with this exercise is you might not be using the same weight that you use on a regular bench press. You shouldn't really worry about that. What you should be worried about or concerned about on this exercise is complete control complete control throughout the range. And uh, the range is completely different. Normally with a bench press, you'd go for range where the bar touches your chest before you press up. This is totally different. This, you're only going until your elbow touches the floor and then you press up. But again, the tempo's slower and uh, it's a controlled movement. TRX chest flies, which is an amazing exercise. Very difficult, so uh, I wouldn't advise this for beginners. It is a hard exercise to do. It's a body weight exercise, and it requires a lot of control. It's an awesome exercise for your chest. I mean, if you want that, you know, that, that cleavage, this is the best exercise, or one of the best, you know. Really squeezes the chest a bit. requires a lot of control throughout the range of motion so um, and it is a difficult one so you know definitely be careful with it and uh, if you have any shoulder issues this might be one to avoid um, so yeah just take care when you try this exercise and um, yeah don't rush it this next exercise is one I'm quite confident that a lot of you haven't done before we've all done dumbbell pullovers and we have that whole thing about whether we do them on chest day or back day guys do them on both it's a great exercise for both muscle groups uh, we're gonna do a decline cable pullover 
fantastic exercise and alternative to dumbbell pullovers. Oh guys, and uh, this one is awesome for that chest cleavage, man. Have a look out when I'm doing it for how well the muscle fibers recruit and squeeze together. So this is gonna give you that cleavage and that solid chest. What you want to do is uh, when you're doing this exercise, squeeze the chest together, each rep. So at the end of the rep, pause, squeeze together, and then release. Bring it together, squeeze, and then release. Okay guys, next exercise we're going to do is a plate press. This exercise is awesome at pinching the chest together and giving you the cleavage. A lot of exercises we've done today are for cleavage, you know, the inner chest. Now obviously you guys know there isn't an inner chest muscle. All we have is the pectoralis major that stretches across our whole chest. But there are ways to uh, utilize and, and, and target certain areas more. You know, that's why we do an incline press because we want to hit the upper chest more. You know, a decline press to hit the lower chest more. This exercise brings our chest together and uh, gives us that cleavage. So we're going to go for the inner chest with a plate press. We're going to start light. So guys, if you've never done this before, choose a light weight. I'm using 25 pounds to start. You might want to use 10. Okay, now depending on the gym you're at is going to depend on what kind of uh, plate that you're going to have. So it's, it's, I can't really give you advice on how to hold the plate. It depends on the plate. This one, I have these grooves here. So I'm just going to lock my thumbs in here like that. And then I've got the plate locked in. Keep your elbows by your shoulders, tucked in, chest squeezed together, and just raise it up. have a slight incline on the bench and guys one thing to remember with this exercise make sure you've got the full grip of the bar maybe get your thumbs in on the hole there all, all plates will have that similar hole so get your thumbs in there the last thing you want is for the plate to slip through your hands and smash your face you don't want that so yeah make sure you've got a nice little lock like that or however you can get it but just make sure your thumbs are through it and not just holding on so I'm gonna show you again now the proper way Also help me keep the plate balance. This last exercise is a great finisher. Uh, you've probably done it or maybe seen it done on cables. It's an underhand raise. Supinated grip, palms facing up, and you bring your arms up and you squeeze the chest together. Again, another great exercise for that cleavage. 
Squeeze together like that. Squeeze. As you come to the top, you really want to squeeze together. That's how you feel it, you know? Just like that. Let's go. And um, before we start, guys, choose a light weight. You're not gonna do this with a heavy weight. It's not the same weight that you do front raises with. Remember, we're not, we're not going for our shoulders, we're going for our chest. So we need to actually concentrate on squeezing the chest together. So you need a light weight to do that. Exercise. Squeeze, and I mean squeeze at the end of the movement. Just bring it together. So you're not just coming up straight, you're coming towards the middle. So not just like this. A front raise will go up like this, or we'll go up like this. We're coming together to the middle. Squeeze. I'm gonna go a little heavier for my next set. So choose a weight that you can control the movement, but it's still effective. Okay guys, try those exercises out. Let me know in the comments how they go for you. And also let me know what you want to see. I'm going to film some nutrition this week. Don't worry, I've heard your calls. A lot of you have said, could you do some nutrition? Could you do some nutrition? I'm doing nutrition this week. I'm probably going to film it tomorrow. So um, yeah, I'm going to do a legs video on Wednesday. Fantastic new squat variation for you to try. And uh, keep watching, appreciate your support. And um, oh, the t-shirt that I was wearing earlier, the patience t-shirt, that is a Just Lift t-shirt. If you want to get it, head to justlift.com. See you guys. <laughs> 